Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 15, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, on Friday, of course, we had this massive move to the upside. Today, we tried to rally, but gave most of those gains back and ended up right where we basically started. So 50 moving average right above here. That's going to add offer quite a lot of resistance we're at the top of the of the bullish band so a we'll pull back at this point towards the middle roughly 90 is going to be expected at this point technical note technical indicators we can see the macd is a bullish the stochastic is bullish cci is bullish and the rsi is flat at this point so let's look at oil So oil continues to uh, grind to the upside. We are trading at 70.97 at this point. Did rally. There's quite a lot of room towards the top of the range at uh, 70, 72.3. That should be where we should see this uh, pull back. So there's quite a, uh, a little bit of room, but we are uh, overbought at this point. Techni technical indicators, we can see the, Mac, the CGI is uh, bullish. The stochastic is bearish and the MACD is bullish as well. So getting close to the target and uh, pull back towards the middle, uh, roughly uh, 67. That is going to be anticipated um, going forward. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas is, um, well, basically going uh, berserker at this point. So it's getting very, very overstretched. We are at 77 here uh, in the RSI, significantly outside of the Bollinger Band. Other technical indicators are very bullish, but uh, this is basically screaming for a pullback. And uh, this overstretched here is also screaming for a pullback. So we have been outside of the bullish band you have some examples here and here and usually we pull back towards the 20 exponential and that basically means that we could pull back towards uh, 3.09 but uh, the weekly chart is uh, very interesting as uh, we are approaching these uh, we have basically a head and shoulder pattern here but we are getting a bit close to the previous highs here we're very close and if we get rejected here and break this neck pattern, then we could see this drop significantly to the downside. There's no really reason why this should be uh, where it is at this point. Usually we have rallies like this in October, November, uh, December, but not in June. So if we were to drop this the daily chart, if we were to drop from here, then probably around to 2.79 is where we'll stop where we have stopped in the past at the 200 moving average. So let's look at copper. Well, copper is just uh, doing the same thing. It has its massive rallies and then a very gradual grind towards the 50 moving average for pre preparations for the next rally. That's how copper has been behaving basically for a year now. So you can see this move here towards the 50, rally towards the 50, rally 50, and so on and so on. So we are getting rejected here in the middle of the bullish band, but 50 moving average is right underneath. And every single time we have gotten close to that, it has basically rallied to the upside. If we have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 and we drop fairly significantly underneath the 50 moving average, then we could see this change direction completely towards a four and then towards a 200 moving average at the 3.7. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at gold. So gold did drop towards the 200 moving average and then it rallied significantly. However, technical indicators for gold are looking dreadful. So if you look at the Fibonacci retracements for gold and we can see that will not find, uh, you basically find uh, Fibonacci uh, 38.2 down here at uh, 18.25. And then we have the 50 down here at give or take 1800. And the 61 is down here at the 17, uh, 76.6. So there's a lot of 
room to the downside. This could be turning around and heading towards the 200 moving average again, the 50, and then test the 50 and the and uh, Fibonacci uh, 38.2. So we could expect a bounce from here. If this breaks, then the 50 and the 61 uh, will come into play. But these technical indicators though do not look very promising for gold at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So silver, very similar. We dropped towards the bottom of the Bullinger Band and then rallied above, uh, above the middle of the Bullinger Band yet again. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is flat, CGI is bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. So kind of going sideways, momentum has kind of stalled. It was bouncing really nicely out the, out the 20 exponential, and now it just is kind of it's going sideways. If we drop below these, we could go and test the 50 moving average. Break above these candlesticks kind of here, well, then we are probably going back towards and testing the uh, 30. So let's look at platinum. Yes. So platinum has rallied up towards the middle of the bullish band and got rejected there. Otherwise, uh, technical indicators are all turning around. MACD is still bearish, but it's turning around. Stochastic is bullish. The CCI is turning around, but still bearish. And the RSI is bullish as well. We managed to take out uh, the middle of the bullish band. Then we have the 50 moving average here at 11.99. And then we can go beyond that. Otherwise, if we break below this candlestick here, then we're looking at 1100 and the 200 moving average. Kind of looks like we have turned around here and created a, a downward sloping channel. So this could be bouncing off the 20 and going lower and lower. So let's look at pallium. So pallium very similar. We uh, can see that the um, middle of the bullish band is holding. So when we rally up to where you get rejected and rally again, you get rejected. And as long as that is the case, and then we'll just go grinding lower. So we could head, be heading towards the 200 moving average down here at the 25 at 2500. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see that MACD is a bearish, the casting is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has rallied. We're trading at 248080. Technical indicators are all turning around, favoring the upside, but we need to take out uh, 2487. So we can see that we tested it here, tested it here. And if we manage to break this time, then we could go back towards these very highs. Otherwise, rejection could head towards the 50 moving average, which has offered support down at 23.79. So let's look at nickel. So nickel continues to rally. 20 exponential has offered support. And uh, we are basically heading towards the top of the Bollinger Band, or 19,000. If you look at technical indicators, we can see they are fairly bullish at this point. So yes, we are not far off being our bot, but um, overstretch conditions is down up here roughly 18,700. But it looks like 19,000 is going to be the target here. So let's look at sugar. So sugar didn't really drop a significant day towards the 50 moving average down at 0 0.1685 and then rallied. However, this probably isn't going to be the, the last time we test the 50 moving average this time. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. And momentum is definitely to the downside. So it looks like we are rolling over here. If we manage to stabilize at the 50, then we could go back up. Otherwise, we could also break the 50 and head all the way down to the 200 moving average at 0 0.1538. So let's look at cotton. So cotton, very similar. We tested the top of the Bollinger Band and then broke down quite aggressively. And uh, technical indicators are all turning around. MACD is still bullish, but other ones are very bearish. So it looks like we are going to roll over here and head back towards these previous lows at probably the bottom of the bullish band at 0 0.8044. If we manage to take out this top here, then we could go to 0 0.90, but it's looking very bearish for this market at this point. So let's go Kokoa. 
So Kokoa has rallied. It has been going sideways for quite some time now. Rallied up towards the 20, got rejected there. Techni technical ninjas are all turning around. MACD is uh, probably going to cross the signal line within the day or two. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is uh, bullish at this point. But the, we are getting rejected at the 20, and we got rejected also here at the 20, and so on. So it may well be that we'll get rejected here and continue going lower. But um, we have tested, give or take, 23, 23 uh, twice now, and uh, got basically rallied from that point. So if you look at wheat... So we really fell apart today and then rallied. So we went all the way down to 656. However, technical indicators are very bearish at this point. So it may well be that we'll just roll over back, head towards the previous lows here, which is give or take 638 and the 200 moving average at 632. If 200 moving average breaks, then we are looking at significantly lower levels. But... 200 moving average, as you see here, that was basically the catalyst for this massive move to the upside and has been on a number of occasions. So, hope you found this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button to see our news videos, and good luck and thank you very much.